Inbox Zero is not unread messages. That is not the intent. Inbox Zero is exactly this. So I use Superhuman. This is Inbox Zero. There's, there are exactly zero messages in my inbox right now. The idea is that you have fully processed messages. You don't want, um, you don't want to just have unread messages. You want to have no messages at all. So everything's archived at one time, all of the messages. The reason is it minimizes the cognitive load and trying to remember like, oh, do I have to find that message? How am I going to know like what it is? Let's email myself. Hey, this message is good. I just emailed Billy McGee. It doesn't matter who it is, but we're just going to use my email address for now. So we're going to go back into sent messages. I emailed Billy McGee and I'm going to set a reminder for Billy McGee because if Billy doesn't follow up by noon on Friday, let's say, then I want to follow up with Billy because I need some answer. So I'm going to put Friday at 12 p.m. Boom. There's the reminder. Billy didn't respond Friday at noon. I follow up. I'm like, hey, Billy, following up, etc. And I email Billy that and it's Friday at noon. Boom. I'm going to set another reminder. So I just keep hammering these reminders so that I never have to think about it because then they pop back into my inbox. I need an answer on this by Thursday of next week. I'd set a reminder for like Monday at like, we'll see. 3.30 p.m., right? There we go. So I set the reminder for 3.30 p.m. after emailing. And then this e email is going to pop back up for Billy. 3.30 pops up. Billy still hasn't responded. There's some other course action. That's fine. Now let's assume that Billy had responded in this time, and that was fine. I can just remove the reminder. Gone. Out of sight, out of mind. But I'm only ever going to remove a reminder if the loop has been closed. So Billy followed up, and we have both agreed on something. Um, thanks for like the input, no action required, right? That's kind of the way of closing the loop on this thread. Or sometimes what we'll do is if this was, if there are a bunch of people CC'd on this, like it was like, do me and me. So then I'd be like, just cause there are a bunch of people, I'd be like closing the loop, right? Um, Billy responded, whatever I spelled it wrong, oh, we're moving forward. No action required. That allows everyone on the email to know like done. No more reminders ever needed for this thing. So that's kind of a, one example there. Now let's go back to an email came in to my inbox. It was from me, let's say. And it was some, like some guy and the guy was like, let's talk shop, etc." And I respond, I'm like, thanks. Let's touch base in nine years. Then I would set the reminder, even though I said that to the guy, I would set the reminder for like nine years. That's October 27th, 2030. That's far away. I'm being totally hyperbolic about it, but the point is you can just set reminders like as far in the future as you want. You can use like 1.7 weeks. Fractions are good. Um, months, you can do the same. 1.9 years, like that's the cool thing with superhuman. So if you have your inbox just get hammered in the morning, it's no different than getting emails to from people that are new emails that are coming in you're like man what i have 20 emails that's overwhelming to just get slammed with 20 if you set the reminder um tomorrow the default's always 8 a.m right it's always going to set tomorrow at 8 a.m you'll get however many reminders you set and that could be like if you set them monday morning you're always going to get those trickling in so m my process for it is every night what i do like kind of end of the day or end of the day every night, um, I'll go into my reminder. So GH, I'll look at my reminder. So tomorrow I've got all these things. Oh, there's one. There's the some guy. That's funny. But I'll go into my reminders and process those emails so that in the morning, never getting emails that are coming in um, that are just bombing my inbox because you get too much cognitive overload trying to process them. And then you're trying to not only remember the context of the conversation, but you're trying to process them fast. Sometimes processing them is a matter of 
like that was a Twitter one, side note, Twitter thing. I don't need that message. That's why I process it so quick. Um, when, when trying to go through things, you're trying to remember a conversation, you're looking at them, you're recalling it. It makes it really hard sometimes to be like, do I need to pick this up again? And sometimes the outcome is a reminders come in and all it is, is you're actually punting the reminder. Like that nine year one came in, in 2030. And then I just hit another reminder for like, ah, follow up in a month. So that can be process. That's still processing the email to get to inbox zero, but that's the process for using reminders and doing them the night before. So you archive a message you want to reference. Let's say I want to reference one where I sent something to Sam Corcos, right? So it's like, here are all the messages I've sent to Sam. If I'm going to use search Sam memo, right? You can usually find what they are. So the idea is that you can reference messages when you want to get really good at um, superhuman shortcuts. Find this. Here we go. Memorize this. This is the ticket. Memorize this. It makes a huge difference for how fast you work in processing and doing all these things, even like formatting messages. So uh, things like numbers, bullets, quotes, instead of having to right click, and this sounds silly saying this, but in, if you're composing a message, so let's go back, um, compose. So C, I'm going to email myself. Hey, subject line. So here, what am I doing? Let's just say following up about this thing. And then I want bullets, command shift eight, this, that, whatever. Thanks. <laughs> Everything else. Now let's say I wanted to bold things. Highlight command B. I want to change color. Command O, go to green, whatever it is. Command B, O, red. There you go. So it makes it really fast. There's a message I want to quote. Here we are doing things. And I want that quote, command shift nine. I can respond, command shift eight to that quote. So it's like, uh, this is great. See, see ya. Right? Command enter. There you go. So I want to reference that thing now that it's gone out of the inbox. I want to reference it now. I go GT, pull up my sent messages. If I wanted to set a reminder on this, I hit H. I can remind myself for like one minute from now if I wanted to. It's going to pop up in a minute in the inbox. But hypothetically, I want to go there before. I can go see my reminders, GH, click on it, boom. So you can see that's how inbox zero, that's how you get fast at processing emails is using shortcuts. So this is the reminder email click on it. Oh, this is great. I don't need to respond. E archive inbox zero. Try to write snippets for everything. So we've got things like I've got a snippet for outsourcing. So you hit semicolon and then you can have your snippets in superhuman. You can write these snippets. If you aren't familiar with them, that's a different video, but using snippets, the idea is you can create these sort of macros that are used. So outsourcing, every time somebody emails me, I just say like, thanks. Billy, we aren't outsourcing. Boom, send that, right? And where it gets really effective is if you have ones that are for responses to responses. So for scheduling or Friday forums, I've got ones for forum outreach. So forum invite, there we go. So this automatically CCs Josh and Sam. I say, hey, Billy, wondering if you'd want to join. I In this macro, I happen to make things in red capital. So it's like easy to not, forget what needs to be changed on like 10, 29, hypothetically. Send this to myself because who cares? Now let's go back in. So hypothetically, I had responded to myself, right? The email came back from the recipient and they're like, great, I'm in. Then I've got another snippet that's like forum. Let's see what I call it. It's not forum details. Perfect. No need to prepare anything. Here's a rough format. Like it just makes things so much easier. I can just go, there you go you can keep using these for following up and for everything else. So anyways, this is how I maintain inbox zero fast email processing, lots of reminders, lots of snippets archiving, and that's the way to do it. So there we go.